everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. And that little thing over there, that big brown bump is Miss Kalua. We are getting ready to have another rainstorm. So she's sitting right next to me all shaking and freaked out because the rain just really gets her going. It is Monday, it is a brand new week, and it has been chilly here today, and windy, and spotted with rain on and off, and yada yada. It is definitely not the month of May. With that being said, I hope everyone is doing well, as well as can be expected with our current world situation, but it seems like some of the states are starting to open up, so hopefully that is a good thing. Yesterday was Mother's Day, and I truly hope that each and every one of you that is either a mom, a mom figure, in a mom role, whatever it is that you do to play that person, or be that person, or are that person, I hope you spent a lovely day with your loved ones if you were able to do so. All right, so from me and Kahlua to all of you, we both wish you all a very happy Mother's Day and we hope you enjoyed your day. All right, Dollar Tree. I am so excited because I wasn't gonna go out today um, because I've been a little bit under the weather and I just got so much going on, but I said, you know what? I need to do something for me and I just need to get the hell out of the house because I was like in Bonkersville. Okay. So let's start with some makeup bags. I have so, man, this is like the eighth or ninth different makeup bag that I've found lately. Okay, so these measure, according to Rizzo, these are eight inches by five and a quarter. These are like a, I don't wanna say nylon, but polyester type of material. So you get a solid blue on one side. It's got the zipper that's got the black top. This one says, Taco Ver the World. And there it is. Let me bring it nice and close. So there's that one. And they're pretty decent in size. I mean, here's what your inside looks like. It's, you know, it's, it's not super great, but it's not bad. I can get both my hands in there. So it's a pretty decent bag. So I found that one. And this next one says, I know I'm extra. And it's got a little guacamole there with purple. The back side is purple as well. You've got a black and, uh, black and silver zipper on top. And they're all the same size. Then we have one here that's done in a lime green. Actually, it's more... It's more of like a mint green, but it's just a little bit darker. You can kind of see up against this because this is a dark green. And this one here says, peace out. And it's got a piece of pepperoni pizza, a piece of pie. And last but not least, I think this one's my favorite. And it says, this is how we roll. And then it's got chopsticks with a little piece of sushi. Isn't that cute? And then the back side there, that's just a little fuzzball. But this is done in a really nice peach color. And you can kind of see the flexibility. I mean, you know, not that you're gonna sit there and do that, but just to give you an idea. Okay, I then found, this is something that's really weird. And I think it has to do with spending so much time in England um, throughout my lifetime. I always used to play, when I was a little kid, I'd play store, and when we would go to the shops in England, 99.9% .9 of the shops give you brown little um, little bags. Uh, they're usually very light, they're very thin, they're either white or brown, they wrap their meats in, in things, and so I would collect all the bags from the shops that my mom would go shopping at. And then when I played Little Checkout Girl at home, I would use the little bags. I don't know, I, I used to love it. Anyways, this is a 10 pack and these are four and a half inches by nine and a half inches. You get 10 in a package and they're basically the size of like a, a, a brown lunch bag sack. But when I saw them and I saw the colors, I just, it brought me right back to having the little bags. So I found some new ones. These are all 10 in a package. These are all in the party aisle. 
These are white with just pink polka dots. And then the next one I got is all white with teal polka dots. And I just think sometimes like when I'm sending friend mail, I'll put a little something in one of these bags and fold it over and make like a special ribbon. It's just stuff that I use not only for crafting, but when I do my friend mail in my happy mail. And those were new, so I was excited to find those. I then came across these two packs of notebooks and they're 80 sheets and they measure five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Here, it's a two pack. This is just the ribbon that's on there. So here's the first notebook. And then the other notebook, again, this is just the ribbon from the packaging, looks like this, which I thought was cool. Then they had another one. And this one, again, this is just, this comes off. This is just a sheet of paper that runs all the way over. So here's the back side of one of the books. So one of the books is blue with all these silver stars. And then the other book, let me bring it in and get the glare off. Let's see if I can get much better. Well, let's see, there's Bewitched in that corner. Can you see it over there? I'm watching Bewitched. And there's my camera. <laughs> let me see if I, okay, there's a good shot right there. See how you see these little gems, these like little diamonds, and then they got these little spritz. So that's what that book looks like. I need another notebook like I need another hole in my head. All right. I found some more new stickers. I'm telling you, I'm such a sticker pig, it's not even funny. Okay. These are all, no. These first ones I'm going to show you are made by Crafter Square. I noticed um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or any of those accounts, many people have posted on my Instagram different Dollar Trees that have these big signs up that are saying they now have the crafting section. And I think that's so awesome because the crafting section is so incredibly cool. You can find so much cool stuff. So yay for those of you that are finally getting the crafting section. Um, I'm really happy because it's such a cool section. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Sorry, I got a little furball. Um, you get a lot of bang for your buck and there's just so many different things that you can do. So that's totally, totally cool. Okay, these are considered pop-up stickers. I do remember this one from last year. These are made by Crafter Square. There's 15 in a package. This one here, and I just dropped Rizzo. I'm just gonna go slowly so you can see the stickers. Some really cute ones. I love that donut one. And then the next one I found is all about pineapples. And this has 10. And let me get the glare off for all of you. There we go. They're so pretty. And they're so adorable. I love this one right there. And last but not least, this one is a 12 count. And I have a lot of favorites in this one. This is all about like hamburgers and french fries and look at their little faces. I love the face on the french fries right here. This is so funny. I, I didn't mean to flip you guys. <laughs> I just flipped everybody off. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe you didn't catch it. I shouldn't have pointed it out. Anyways, here we go. The little tacos and the sandwich. I just thought that was so cute. And then the little ice cream cone winking at you and sticking his tongue out. So those were new except for that first one. And then these are called metallic stickers. It doesn't, they're a green bar or product, but it doesn't have any other name than that. So this first one has 14 pieces and they are metallic. And what I like about the metallic stickers is they are kind of translucent, but they have that metallic color. They just really pop on journals and notebooks, in my opinion. So this first one, again, is 14 pieces. Let me get the glare off for you first. There we go. Isn't that adorable? The pandas, the donuts, just too, too cute. Okay, so there's that first one. The next one is, these are all metallic. This one is 13 pieces. 
There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay with the glare. Let me go this way as well, and I'll bring it back down. Really, really pretty. And then the last one, this is cute too. This has 17 pieces. And there we go. So we have like spaceships, and then you see the little cup with the straw. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. And then you see that little unicorn? I just thought these were so pretty. And then we bring it up to this really pretty ice cream cone. And then you have this little donut, another donut. Really, really adorable. Okay. So next, um, just a couple things I needed for in the house. I did pick up, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Deli Market Yellow Mustard. It's the .20 ounce. It's good until March 19th of 2021. It is made in the USA. I've used this before. It's good. It tastes just as good as any other mustard I've had. So I do enjoy it. So I picked up a bottle of that. I noticed that some of the shelves were starting to pick up on some of their food items. So that was a pleasure to see. I did get myself a couple boxes of the Minute Rice which is a brand name. Um, basically, it's ready in five minutes. It's a seven ounce box. And really, it's more than enough for two people. Um, plenty enough for me and then some. But I did pick up two boxes. I thought that was a great buy. I have purchased them before. And it's just a nice little extra to kind of have around the house to have in the pantry just in case you need it. And out here in New York, it's been so hard to get, well, probably just like everywhere else. So when you see it, you grab it. And especially if you can find it at Dollar Tree, you might as well get it. I um, was doing a steak last night, and where's my steak seasoning? It ran away with the spoon, the fork, the dish towel, and everything else that seems to disappear. Um, so I had to pick up some more. I don't know if anyone has tried this, but I've been using this for a long time now, and it really is good. It's the Steakhouse Seasoning Supreme Tradition 2.5 ounces. I use this with a little bit of other spices that I throw in there before doing a steak. And I, I actually, I picked up two because um, I use these all the time. And you can use them on other meats as well, but they're really meant for steak, and they really are good, trust me. Um, since all I have is my little stubbies right now, until nail salons get back up and going, and I think I saw one open today, and I think I also saw a childcare facility open today, and I didn't know what the deal was with that. I need to check in around here. It looked a little funny to me, but I am i can't, I don't know for sure. Um, so anyways, with my salon not being open, and I wouldn't be going to my salon right now anyways, um, I picked up some gel nail polish the other day from my other haul, and so I'm going to get these little stubbies painted, but I realized before I go painting, sorry, got to bend my old woman bones. Um, before I start painting my nails, I better get some nail polish remover because lately I've been dropping everything and knowing me, I'm going to spill it. So I better have some. So this is the six fluid ounce. There was a couple different ones. This is the 100% acetone one. It works, you know, I just think when you have more acetone, it tends to take the polish off quicker because it's stronger. Just like you're rubbing alcohol, you know, you get the 30% or 40, 50% is meh. You really want to get at least 70 or 100 because that's when it's really kicking in. Now, I saw this bag and I thought, well, I have a birthday coming up next month. So maybe when I buy myself my birthday gift, I'm going to put it in this bag. <laughs> How pathetic is that, right? Oh, my gosh. But this is so cute. Look at the unicorn. Let me bring her back here. This is a really big bag. Um, it, I... I did drop Rizzle, but you know what? Let me grab her real quick. Okay, she's back. Um, This doesn't say measurements. It is by Lala. It measures a 12 inches. Boy! Might as well say 12 almost by 24. But what I loved about this was, obviously, let me bring her in nice and pretty. See all her sparkles? I just love that unicorn. 
I think she's so pretty. And anybody that gets mail who, who is on my happy mail list or my friend list, they see this matches all the stuff that usually comes on the packages when they send them out to you. Okay, I did grab another Oh Shit Sugar, <laughs> and that's become the name for my new Domino Sugar because this is the box that I go, oh, crap. Um, I ended up giving one to the neighbor next door because, believe it or not, they didn't have any sugar, and I, the guy came over. He's like, can we borrow? I'm like, here you go. So that was my backup box. So I've had reasons because Grandpa needed some, I needed some, and then the neighbor needed some. So this is a one-pound box. It is $1. It's the Domino Sugar. You got plenty of time for an expiration date, but that whole entire box fits in my little sugar thing that I have on my counter, so it's perfect. And it's definitely there in case I happen to need it. All right, these were super cute. So I did pick these up. And these are kind of big. You would, I just had Rizzo in my hand. Oy. I was surprised how big these are. Um, these are, I'm going to be exactly specific, the size of a pool ball. If you've ever played pool, regular pool, pool ball. This is a bubble bombshell in a pineapple scent oh but look at the packaging how cool is that for packaging so i did grab a couple of these as you can see this is the bath ball itself that is exactly the size of a pool ball exactly i was like oh these are so adorable love the packaging so i grabbed a couple of those i then came across which i thought was pretty neat now, I only found three of these, but in my opinion, from the display I saw, I think there is only three, but please don't hold me to it because I don't want anybody emailing me going, you were wrong, and I have enough of that as it is. Okay, first of all, let me measure these because these are really nice. Sorry, my hair with the rain today, it's just been all over. These bottles measure six inches. These are glass bottles. This first one is la, 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 la. Let me try this again. La Calana Toscana. I don't know. I'm going to mess this up. My eyes are not the best. I'm still waiting on my contacts to show up. So I'm just going by the little readers I have from Dollar Tree. But it's chili salt. I was like, what? It's a net weight of seven ounces. Um, let me see where it's made. Ingredients, sea, salt, and chili. <laughs> That's good. Well, it's made and manufactured right here in New York, New York. Okay. Whoop, New York. Anyways, here is the bottle, which I thought was kind of cool. It's got a little protective. It's plastic sealed, and then they just got that there, but... You know what, even if you use the bottles for something else, but here's the back side. And I thought, you know what, this might be something, even if I don't use it for decorative pur purposes, on one of my trays. I have a three-tiered tray in um, one of the, on one of the tables in the kitchen. Um, it's actually like a breakfast nook. And I thought this would be kind of neat. The next one I found is Himalayan Pink Fine Salt. This is 8.1 ounces. Expiration date is uh, September 16th of 2022. The expiration date on the first one I showed you is exactly the same. So here's the first one. Here is the second one. And there was one other one. And I'm pretty sure these are the only three. This one is called Herb Salt. This one is 6.7 ounces. Um, yeah, the company La Colonna Toscana. I'll bring it up close. There it is right there. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. That is what the backside looks like. But even to put, you know, I mean, these are heavy. I mean, I'm not, these got some weight to them. But I thought they'd be kind of cool on the three-tier tray in the kitchen somewhere. Yeah, just me thinking outside the box, you know, decorative items. I then, these were too cute and I wasn't going to pass them up. I don't really buy artificial flowers too often, every now and then. When I was back home, 
Um, and I was able to visit, you know, my mom and dad's um, graves. I would get artificial flowers and reel and mix them together because I just feel that the artificial ones sometimes are just so pretty and they do last a little bit longer. Um, this is definitely something that I would have put back home for them. So I got these. I just thought they were so pretty. These are different. I've never seen them before. So it's a full bouquet and I'm just spreading it out a little because I want to show you there's two different types of flowers. So the first one we have is all blue with stars and then see the little blue. It's like a daisy, but it's all glitter inside. And then they have the red one that's got the stripes and then it's got the red glitter inside. I just thought these were so cute and I might even send them home to my um, sister and um, ask her that when she goes, maybe she could put these in the vases for me. Because um, normally around this time of year, I would put something like this and, and like a flag and things like that. But those are just really pretty. I thought they were nice. So for those of you that do get those kinds of flowers, that's really pretty. I did grab and I'm, oh, this was something I've seen many of you haul. But I was like, yeah. I'm not sure. So I did take the opportunity to grab two of my favorite scents and I tried to smell them through my mask in the store and I was like, that's not happening. So as soon as I got outside to the car, I was like, I was like, okay, I'm keeping them. So this first one, these are like the size of hockey pucks. This first one is a loofah soap and it's in coconut scent. And right here on the inside, you can actually see the part of the loofah. But what I like about it, it's like nice decorative soap. It's a small soap that you could put on your sink if you're having guests. And even if you're not, it's decorative. And it smells pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe poke a few holes in the plastic and maybe put it in the bathroom somewhere. The other one, of course, I had to get because, well, number one, it's purple. You can see the loofah much better in this one. They are both 3.5 ounces. And this smells just my mom would have put something like this in her drawer. Um, my mom loved lavender. My mom loved lilac. And my sister's the same way. And... Um, I just had to. I had to. I saw it. So the both of those together were pretty. Also, I am trying to put together some more faux whipped cream toppers. I did. I'm sorry. I got like a. Hello. 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 It's like a ringing in my ear. Uh, yeah. Okay. Squirrel. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Oh, I'm making some toppers for my Ray John cups. And I'm like, how am I going to do something 4th of July-ish? I can't get into any hobby stores. If I order online, they won't be here till God knows when. So, I went down the party aisle and I found these confetti stars. But it's not paper. They're like those little, it's not metal, but it's like a hard plastic. So, I found some in red. And I found some in blue. And I thought, well, I went, hmm. I said, Beth, you know what? Why can't I use some of these on the sprinkles for the faux cupcakes for Memorial Day or 4th of July? So that's what I got them for. Whether they're going to work or not, that's a different story. But I'm definitely going to give it a try. All right, let's see where we're at with time here. Okay, I did find some... I can't share them with you yet because it's a surprise. I am getting, let's see. I think I was like 6,900 and something. So for those of you that may not watch my channel all the time, right now I have a 7,000 subscriber giveaway. And if you look on my community page, you will get a sneak peek of a few of the items that are going in to this giveaway. I can tell you this, the entire giveaway is nothing but all brand new hard candy makeup items. So if that's not an interest to you, you don't have to worry about it. But if that is an interest to you, please let me know. 
Um, I'll give you a little hint. I did find one, two, three, three brand new hard candy items today. And I just went local. Okay. Um, I was cruising down the car aisle and I came across these three pieces. You get two wax application. Can blah, 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 blah. Let me try that again. This is where I would use my, which by the way, I just saw if you watch Miss um, Pink Motivation, Latrice, Miss Latrice, I got to give her a shout out. She got herself one of those clapper things. Uh, not the light clapper thing, but the director's, what do you call that board? I, I know the name. I can't think of it. I've had the same one in my shopping cart for months. And I noticed she did a haul the other day and she showed it because she did an Amazon haul. And I was like, no, you got the same one. <laughs> um, mine should be here at some point. I'm waiting for um, so many things to come. Anyways, let me go back to the item I was describing. These are driver's choice. You get three pieces. You get two wax applicator pads and one tire shine. So you're gonna get your two circle pads, which are basically your wax pads. Again, just because it says it's a wax pad doesn't mean you have to use it as a wax pad. And then the other one's kind of a funky one. You've got like this little space here between this. I don't know, I don't see for that lasting too long, but for the dollar, eh. You can't beat it. Um, I've got so much waxing and polishing to do on my car, it's not even funny. I probably have at least a week's worth of polishing under the hood to do. But that's part of owning Chrome, and I don't mind. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Hey, come here. Let's see if we can get Kalua to say hi. She's been a little camera shy lately. Hey, you. Come here. Come here by Mom. Come here by mommy. Yes, it was. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Well, you didn't have to sit and turn that way. I was getting you to come this way. Well, I was trying to get her to, like, have a conversation with us, but she's here in some of the race cars next door running, and between that and the storm, she's not too comfortable right now, so I'm not going to make her do anything to freak her out. All right, everybody, I'm looking in my basket, and I'm going... I got a whole nother haul going on here, but let me tell you, three brand new candy, hard candy, hard candy. <laughs> All right, everybody, until next time, please make sure to take care of yourself and each other. You got your big nose in my screen here while I'm trying to say goodbye. Are you going to come back up here again and say hi? Come on, come over here, say hi. Man, she's just being stuck up. All right, everybody, until next time, any questions, comments, bitches, moans, and groans, hit me up down below. Until next time, bye-bye for now.